first of all, stop saying that. Stop saying it to yourself. Stop saying it about yourself. That's just a way to avoid reality about where you're truly at with your skills. Saying you suck is just a way to minimize and avoid looking at what you really can do and hide your insecurity about what you don't know. You probably even paint over it with some fake positivity like, I suck, but I love it. Or, I'll never be good, I just do it for fun. All these things are creating your world, and it's not true. Look, get honest. If you really look about what skills you have and what skills you don't, then you can make a plan about how to get the ones that you want. If you can play one thing that brings you joy or another person joy, that's good. Humans have a tendency to focus on what they lack and ignore what they do have. And if you are saying that you suck, you probably are not acknowledging what you can do. Even a beginner on day one can make music. Music is innate. It's in us. And some people choose to spend the time polishing their skills on a musical instrument. So if you clear this mental noise of, I'm not good, or I suck, or I'm just not one of those naturals, or I'm too old, I don't have time. If you move all that, there's a wide open space for an honest look at where you're at and what it's going to take to get to where you want to be, or what skills you want to have. Are you saying that you suck because you don't want to look at how little you practice? Would you rather suck than admit to yourself that you're lazy or just scared to really, really try? Are you saying that you suck because you're too prideful or insecure to ask for a mentor or find a mentor? All the focus on what you aren't, it's just a smoke screen that covers up who you truly are and you're probably scared to let people see who you really are. Okay, let's get real. If you can play all the open chords and switch between them while keeping a steady rhythm, that's really good. I would call that white belt skills. You already have the skills to play and learn almost any song on the guitar. You already have the magic. Seven or eight of the most common open chords with the capo, that's enough to play songs and really make the audience feel something. This is an amazing thing. And that cloud of opinion of who's good and who isn't, and has, that has nothing to do with actually playing music. Think about it. All of that mental noise actually has nothing to do with creating music in the moment. So are you playing music because you want someone to think that you're special? Are you playing music to get attention? Are you playing an instrument because you just love the way it makes you feel? Is there something that you want to say? You want to write a song? Or are you playing music to celebrate, make people dance? None of these reasons is good or bad. Okay, my, my ego hates to admit it. I've spent my life playing and pushing myself as much as I can in music because I just love the way it makes me feel. I think it's a divine calling because music brings people together when most things in the world divide us. But my reason for playing music is no better than the kid who wants to play fast licks on social media for likes. Everyone has a different experience. They're only get, we're only gonna be here for what, 100 years or less? and people get fulfilled by different things. Don't get me wrong, you should surround yourself with people who have similar values as you. But we're all trying to fulfill something and it's okay, none, none of it's good or bad. Um, when I was, 20 years ago when I was in university and I was studying music like age 17 to 22, somewhere that, the most talented musicians seemed the most unhappy. These kids, they could play almost anything, but every conversation was about who was better than who, or when they would play, it was about demonstrating how good they were. One kid, we would meet every week for the guitar players to play for each other, you know, and critique and get back and forth and like get better. This guy, he would get on stage after you and play the same song that you just played better than you did. How many friends do you think that guy had? But who, who knows what was going on with him? It was, it was about something else. It wasn't about music. 20 years later, the people who were in music school that were just there because they loved it, doing their best, they're still playing today. Those other people who were just always about how good they were, they're not playing anymore. 
In fact, the people who just did it because they loved it, 20 years later, they're playing professionally. Most of those people that I became friends with that just loved it, now they play professionally. And when I look back, the people who were the most skilled in music school, they're not playing now. But the people who were there and they just loved it and they, they just wanted to do it because they loved it, they're still playing today, 20 years later. And in fact, most of them are playing professionally. The other thing is in the professional music world, the best players are the easiest people to be around. They're the most humble because they know it's not about them. It's about the song. It's about the audience feeling something. If you say you suck, then you do. You create your reality with your words, even internally. Instead of saying I suck, try this. I'm working on this. Or I'm learning to blank. Keep it about the action. Here's the best one. I practice every day from this time to this time. The person that says that and actually fulfills on that is going to be a badass musician. And they, and they also have this like knowledge of themselves and the self-discipline that that's where the confidence comes from. It's not, the confidence doesn't come from people telling you that you're good. If you say, I can play five open chords, switch between them with perfect rhythm or almost perfect rhythm, you're great. I would, I would love to play with you because you can play. We can jam together. This is great. If you truly want to be confident and expressive and free with your playing, find a mentor or join a program that's going to give you the skills you want. Talent or how good someone is, that's all subjective. If you're watching this video, you probably already have guitar skills, probably already have some music skills. And I acknowledge you, you're awesome. So when you hear the voice inside your head say something about when I tell you that you're awesome, you can just say, hey, I'm not doing that. I'm too busy getting good at guitar. Thank you, brain. I'm not doing that. I'm too busy getting good at guitar.